everyone and welcome to another wonderful episode of Get A Life. I'm puffed, I'm feeling good. We're getting fit here at Listen To Your Body in Brunswick East. On tonight's show, we've got an amazing smoothie by Kuvings Pear and Almond, how delicious. We've got Tiff Hall showing us high intensity interval training, also known as HIT. And of course, Graham Johnson, Mr. Kapai Puku himself. That is much more to come in this episode and you're gonna be feeling wonderful about yourself by the end of this show. Meanwhile, here we go, Vanessa. Let's keep it going. Hey guys, I'm Jules. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today where I have a really nourishing, warming, gut healing recipe for you. We're gonna make pear almond milk. A little bit different to your usual recipes. However, I'm gonna show you how this is really going to help support you and your gut, especially in the afternoon. Now, sometimes I come home in the afternoon, I've had a long day, I just need something comforting, you know, just like a warm hug. Nothing too filling because I'm about to have dinner shortly, but I need something to just tie me over, especially great for kids in the afternoon when they get home at three o'clock. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use the Kuvings B6000. So we've got some almonds here and I've activated them. I've got some fresh filtered water here as well and then some beautiful green pack and pears. It couldn't be simpler to do and this is how we do it. So we're going to add in a pear first, then some almonds. Add in our water, which will churn it all through together. Some more almonds and our last pear. And you'll see that our almond pulp is actually coming out through the side, which is really fabulous because there's no wastage with this recipe. You can actually take that almond pulp and you can use it in other recipes. Oh, yum, I can really smell that pear from here. Mmm, smells delicious. If you'd like to make this recipe yourself at home, then you really need a juicer. And you could win one if you enter our great juicer giveaway. Just head to our website, getalife.tv, and you could win one of six Kuvings juices. Remember, it always tastes better with a Kuvings. We are so very excited to announce our first Kuving competition winners. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Amanda Warmoth from Thornbury, Victoria, Joan Mason from Fern Bay in New South Wales, and Karen Hasladeen from Hamilton Hill in WA. You are on your way to becoming healthier with a Kuvings juicer to start your day. A big thank you to our sponsor Kuvings for running this generous giveaway and changing lives for the better. For the entries that didn't win, don't worry, we'll be sending you all a 15% discount voucher to get a Kuvings juicer of your own. Up next, we've got Anna Newman, our psychologist who helps you live life to the fullest. Today, we've got a special guest, psychologist and author of Killing the Perfectionist Within, Honor Newman. Honor, thanks for having us back in your home. Hi, Ty. So your book, Killing the Perfectionist Within, a very intriguing title. What is a perfectionist? Who is a perfectionist? The person that's a perfectionist has a lot of different personality traits. So they're normally a high achiever. They don't like making mistakes. They're really fearful of failure. They've got a lot of pressure on themselves and they often feel guilty. They're some of the traits. Why do you think we need to address this issue of perfectionism in our lives? Um, I really think that it reduces our quality of life. If we're constantly anxious and feeling guilty a lot of the time and we're very fearful about doing things for ourselves or letting people down, then we're in a negative mood state a lot of the time. So I'd like to help address these issues so that you know we can feel more sense of well-being more of the time. Well, I don't want to give away too much of the book, but can you at least share with us maybe one of those lessons that might help some of our viewers? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think body image is a huge in terms of perfectionism. You know, we're very, we're very self-critical about our, yes, our especially bodies. Especially as women, <laughs> I think even more so. Yeah, so I think, you know, shifting our thought pattern around confidence is the most attractive thing more than perfection. So I think if we can embrace that idea and have that mental shift, we can feel a lot freer 
Absolutely, that's very poetic, you know, confidence <laughs> over perfectionism. And, and that is, it's a very attractive quality. In and people. It, is, it is true, it's, it's not, you know, a, a cliche, it is actually true. Thank you, Honor. Thank you for sharing with us. You don't have to suffer alone. There's options for you. There's resources for you. So for whatever, wherever you are on that, I guess, spectrum of perfectionism, there is help. For more information on Honor Newman's book, you can head to getalife.tv. And of course, there's um, lots more about the programs that are on offer. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Coming up next, we've got Tiff Hall showing us some high intensity interval training, otherwise known as HIT. Hi, I'm Tiff Hall and welcome to my Dojang, Chadi Kunye, and let's bow. That's how we get started. I'm a personal trainer and founder of TiffXO.com and this is Luke, he's a personal trainer too. We're six stand black belts and we're going to get stuck into some HIIT training, some high intensity interval training. So let's get started. Our first exercise is a jab cross with four uppercuts and then a great big elbow to work the obliques. So we're gonna go for 20 seconds, Luke, go for it. It's really great doing the HIIT exercise because you can do 20 minutes of hardcore training and that equates to a whole hour of steady state cardio. What you're doing is triggering the EPOC response in your body, which is how oxygen works in your body. So the more oxygen in your body, more calories you burn. And you're not only burning calories whilst you're exercising, but for the entire day. So Luke, now let's skip it out. Just bounce it out for me. Take a bit of a rest. So the way HIIT works, you go to your maximum intensity for 20 seconds and then you take a break. So you always take a little bit of recovery time so that you can work to your max. Okay, next exercise, we're going to go into a side kick, squat and then a heel click. So make sure that you set the foot Okay, in the opposite direction to where you're kicking. They're kicking through the glutes and this is going to tone your legs. On TIFFXO, we use a martial arts system based on Taekwondo and our 25 years worth of experience. Nothing tones the body like martial arts. You burn up to 800 calories per hour, toning the arms, toning the legs. We're working for 20 seconds, Luke, and then we're going to take a 10 second break. With these intervals, you can up the time of the interval to 30 seconds if you want, or 40 seconds, depending on how fit you are. And let's bounce it out, Luke, let's bounce it out. Just skip it out. This is your active recovery. Let your body breathe. That's the way we're moving on to our next one, a burpier. Now a burpee is like a burpee, but a lot more fun. You can jump up in the beginning, you go into a push up, two mountain climbers, and then walk it back. As you roll your body up, roll up that spine nice and easy. Now, something that I encourage my participants on my program to do is a joy jump, okay? It's all about having fun and saying, yay, if you want to, but it is optional. Some people go for the joy jump, others just a little bounce, and we can modify. You can just do a squat, and walk it out into that push-up, two mountain climbers, and roll that spine back up like you do in Pilates to get a nice rest. Now this is the last one, Luke, you're doing an awesome job. Down you go, show me two mountain climbers, great for the abs. Okay, come up and bounce it out, bounce it out. Our next exercise is all about the abadabas. We're going to move on to some core work now. A toe tap, Luke, into a sexy roll, and then a push-up. Okay, now what this is doing, I try and incorporate full body movements. Okay, so using your whole body all the time, not just a crunch, but we have the sexy roll here, working your arm. It's a little bit of a cardiovascular movement as well. And you get a fantastic workout. So this training system is ultimate. We get people going from having an out of shape stomach to having flat stomachs, having abs, having shape in their arms, shape in their back because of this training system, it is that effective. Keep moving through. Last one, Luke, you're doing an awesome job. Over you go into a push up and come up and let's march it out, let's march it out. So that's an example of HIIT training. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, we're at intervals. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little insight into tiffxo.com, my online training program that will get you fit, help you to lose weight and get more energy. Thanks for having us, guys.
here at Listen to Your Body in Ligon Street, Brunswick East with the very lovely Vanessa. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks, Maritza. Tell us all about the sessions that you run here. It's group personal training. Um, so the sessions run for 45 minutes and there could be, say, six people in a session, but everyone's working at their own individual um, fitness level. Some people have injuries. Um, some people are here for setting goals. They might do a fun run or something. So the PT works with uh, people individually tells them what exercise to move on to next or what equipment. Uh, so it's not a circuit type gym. Right, yeah. so you work in a group, yeah. um, but have your individual exercises yeah. laid out for you and yeah. are monitored by a personal yes. trainer. That yes. sounds fun. Yeah, it is good. So you weren't always a personal trainer, were you? No, I worked up at the airport for 16 years and we've just been doing this We've been, about, well, we've been open for 12 months now, so yeah, massive life change, yeah. but for the better. But for the better. <laughs> yeah. I do notice something about this gym that um, all other gyms I think have, and that is mirrors. You don't oh, have yeah. those here. No, no mirrors, uh, no scales. So it's not, we don't want people to sort of judge themselves and uh, think that they look stupid or uh, feel uncomfortable doing, you know, the exercises. So uh, that's why the PT is here to show them what to do, so if that, like for technique wise. And yeah, you're not judging yourself or comparing yourself to everyone else. Judgment-free workout, yes. I love it. It's actually <laughs> funny because I literally put my scales under my bed yesterday because I just wasn't liking what they were telling yeah, me and I had funny. enough of looking at that number. Yeah. And I totally understand that mindset because you get fixated on something and it's not really the truth. Yeah. And it's hard to get out nowadays. We're doing more weight training, especially for women. Uh, and so the scales are just gonna tell you you're not going anywhere, but. You, you know, you're building muscle and muscle weighs more than um, fat, so mm. yeah, scales, no. Nah. Women tend to be, I'm speaking from a women's perspective, but we tend to be quite critical on ourselves. So removing the mirrors is just, I think, a very clever choice. Yeah. Um, and working in a group environment is awesome. Yeah, it's great. Well, our very first customer through the door, she came in and she said she had previously gone to a big gym with her son, but she just felt, yeah, really out of place. So she came in and just said to us, what can you do with this? And She's like 12 months later, fantastic, stronger, and so happy with herself. So it's an awesome feeling. You have a mix of clientele here, don't you? Yeah, we've got um, like uh, young mums, dads, teachers, retirees. We do have a few clients that are studying and working, so they're stressed out. So they come in here and forget about it for 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good. Yeah. 45 minutes too, I think that's the perfect number for um, fitness training. Yeah. Because an hour sends me too long, you exhaust yourself. Yeah. Um, and for me, a magical number is 45. Yeah, and you get perfect. that wind down time. Yeah. How do people book in for a session? Uh, so you can book in either through the Listen to Your Body website, and you can also buy packs and everything through the website. Or also we use Mind Body, which some people may know, you can book in through there. And we also do have some clients that don't have that sort of technology. So they just tell the trainer, at the end of their session when they're coming in next and we just book them in manually. Oh, that's good, yeah. real flexibility. Yeah. So if I come in in a group, in yeah. my particular group, do I train with that group consistently or am I able to move around to yeah, different groups? Yeah, you can go to any, any session that's not booked out. You can book into morning, afternoon, on Saturdays, yeah, it doesn't matter what time. So you're flexible, but if you want to stay with your group, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's really good. Yeah. Uh, the more flexibility when it comes to exercise and the less excuses people can make for yeah, themselves, right. the yeah. better. I know you've got a giveaway for our Get A Life viewers. Tell us all about it. Uh, we're offering, because it was our first birthday on the 2nd of May, we're offering all viewers a 10 free day trial for the next month. That's amazing. Yeah, so they can come in, try us out and um, hopefully very, fall very in love generous. with it. generous. I'm yeah. sure they will fall in love with yeah. it. You can find out more about the deal on our website, getalife.tv. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Thanks, Maritza. Make sure you come and check this place out. It's awesome. <laughs> and coming up next, another wonderful recipe by Graham Johnson's Kapai Puku. Hey again everyone, we are back in the kitchen with health and nutrition guru, Graham Johnson. And last time we met, you taught us about a wonderful smoothie that lasted all day long, kept us full all day long. Today, there's another option, isn't there? There's a salad that you're gonna tell us about. Yeah, I think the, um, the humble tomato and lettuce, they've got all these new superfoods out onto the marketplace and we lose sight what's important just in the simplicity of going to the local fruit shop. I like just mother nature and taking it back to the basics. So tell us about the perfect salad that you're gonna make for us today. So the perfect salad that I'm going to make today will have mango, it will have cucumber, it will have basil, it will have red onion, tomato, peas, and the liver health carpi puku. 
the worry to fight your inner health. That sounds delicious. What's in the Carpe Puku that will fill us up? Well, what the, the, the differentiation in Carpe Puku is you've got the flax seed. So fish is really high in omega-3. Now there's another form of omega-3 that you can get and that's in seeds, the pure seed energy of Kapapuku. And not to mention that we've also got dandelion root. Now dandelion root is really good for the liver. So now we're starting to kind of infuse medicine and something that's very filling. It's got omega-3 and we're not using fish, but we're using the plant fiber and the omega-3s, sixes and nines in the pure seed energy. So we're just getting a multitude of vitamins that we're putting into our body. But what I like about the um, Kapapuku in our salads, especially the liver blend, is it's really filling. If you're feeling sludgy, if you're feeling lethargic, and you really want to make a positive change, as Einstein said, I mean, the, 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 the meaning of craziness is repeatedly doing the same thing day in, day out, 21 days. If you wanted to change the way that you feel about yourself, you can change it with the simplicity of a salad. So that's how we create a habit is doing things over 21 days. I love how you say the inner warrior. Is that what is symbolized on your packages? Yeah, and I don't think we've really explained ourselves really well with the packaging. Is when people see our packaging and they see that tamoku, I'm Maori, and my tribe is Ngati Huya. My great great grandfather was Te Opraha. He wrote the haka. And when we see that warrior, we get it looks very intimidating. But colon cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and a lot of the modern diseases of today, they 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 never sleep. They're 24 hours, and when we're sleeping, they're still battling within our body. Imagine you've got that face. So when you see the face, it is the unforgettable face of Kapapuku. That warrior, Maritza, is the warrior that's going to defend you. He's going to beat those bad guys up. He's the guy who will, when you're sleeping and you've got disease in your body and it's fighting you 24 seven, that warrior, that face, whether it be the liver health, the heart health, the anti-aging, the antioxidant, or the stomach, that worry will never give up on you, Maritza. Mmm. It's delicious. Yes. <laughs> that's what I got my mouth Mmm, that's beautiful. Yeah, I really, really like that. So where is Kapai Puku available to buy? Kapai Puku is available nationally at Richie's. It's available at every GoVita nationally and also any good health food shop. It's also available, which is an absolute winner, at Chemist Warehouse, all 380 shops. Oh, they're everywhere. There's nowhere we can't get our hands on this. And no excuses to try it. I'm really gonna take you up on that 20 to one day challenge and I'm very excited about it. And our viewers can do the same thing because you're a very generous man, aren't you? For the first 10 viewers who buy Kapapuku, we will be giving you the range. So, so good. Well, get on it, everyone. We're gonna dig into the salad. We're gonna enjoy life from within and we'll see you next time. After the break, we're heading to Jimbaroo to get some great advice on how to raise our children. What type of skills do you expect someone who completes the program to have? Oh, there are so many skills that anyone can take away from Jimbaroo, but there are quite a few that we wish to see all of them doing when they leave our preschool program. We like to see them skipping. Mm. We like to see them walking up and down stairs, one step on each foot, on each step. We like to see them hopping, um, have movements. They can think and move at the same time, which is something that we as adults just so often take for granted. And when we see our children leaving Jimbaroo, being able to do very complex things around all of the equipment, then we know that we're really helping them to achieve what we're aiming for. Um, Sometimes we get very picky because we tell the parents, we say we're picky because we can be and we're looking at very fine distinctions, looking at their pencil grip, looking at why they haven't got the pencil grip that we mm. would aim for yet and what we can do and suggest to the parents they do at home in order to help that happen. And all of those things are going to make life easier for the children. Things like music and playing music, rhythm, 
Um, that's going to help feed into their coordination and their understanding of pattern and order and math skills. And often parents don't understand, to begin with, how that may fit in and it's our job to help them realise where that's it right. does fit together and actually make the parts of the jigsaw puzzle um, complete. Mm, complete we... in the parents' minds and complete in how it pans out in the development of their children. We like to have them tying their shoelaces by the end of pre our school readiness program. And the reason that is, is it gives them confidence. If you can tie your shoelace before you go to school and every time that teacher is asked to do a shoelace up, to be that child that the teacher sends you to and be able to do it for them is a great confidence builder. Wow, they seem like such small things, but they're little things that grow into bigger things, aren't they? And the amount, the number of fine motor skills a child needs to be able to tie their shoelace, not to mention the thought processes that go with it, are very complex. So we help the parents to see how they can break those down into small skills and therefore their children are able to achieve, achieve them with minimal stress. <laughs> That's important. It is very important. Definitely. Minimal stress. As a mum, it is very okay. important. <laughs> So Archer did the school readiness program, just progressed through the stages and being a May baby, he doesn't start school until next year. So he's at kinder this year, um, which is generally where the school readiness would work hand in hand, but he's obviously that uh, little bit ahead with his gym brew. But uh, we recently had some um, parent teacher interviews at kinder and she basically told us he's at that stage where she expects the children to be by the end of the year. Um, measured on a number of things, his communication is very good, um, you know, obviously his sense of style is amazing. The benefits of doing a dance class and doing a gym brew class, I would always point people to the gym brew class first. If you can afford to do more than one activity, go ahead, you know, but if there's one activity that you can afford to do, uh, to do with your kids, I would I always recommend and I do. Anyone asks me, I, I just try Jimbiru, just try it. All you have to do is give it a go, try a couple of weeks and generally the results speak for themselves. It's great because you're not just, you know, giving them skills that are helping with school, you're giving them life skills and things that are really going to be with them their entire life. And that's one of the great things about being a Jimbaroo teacher, you know that you're helping them with life skills, you know that you're helping the parents get these children through their early years. We really enjoy what we do. It's not just about the kids, is it? It's no. so much about the parents and it's about you guys as trainers. It's everyone working together to, you know, to develop these skills. Definitely. Everyone works together. We're a very cohesive unit. We work with the child, we work with the parent, sometimes we work with the grandparents. It just depends what that week brings you, but we are very cohesive. Coming up next, we're heading back to Dayhab to hear the end of Mick's story that will leave us feeling amazed and, importantly, very inspired. And I decided, I know what I'll do, I'll jump off the bridge instead. See, part of the insanity of addiction is, is that you continue to use and drink despite negative consequences. Welcome back team, I'm Craig Harper chatting with Mick Hall from Dayhab. Then what happened? Give us the next few weeks or months. Yeah, so, so from there I, I, I needed help. You know, I needed help, like I, I was unable, I'm unable to do this on my own. Um, the disease of addiction had me in its grip mm. and it governed everything. Mm. I, have, I was powerless. Mm. Right? But the only thing that I could think to do was to go and ask for help. So I actually went back to my mother and father's house. Mm. That day I was 30 years old. Mm. Back to mum and dad's, um, went and banged on the door. My mother opened the door and just saw me standing, saw my condition and just sobbed. My dad took me in um, and I sat down and talked to him and I, I, I just was honest with him and, you know, I'd had a lifetime of lying and cheating and, mm. and all of that sort of stuff and I was just completely honest with him where I was at and I literally begged him to help me. You know, and, and I'm so grateful for my dad. My dad's always, he's been very worried about me my whole life and mm. he's always stuck by me and he's a good man, my dad. And, um, and so, same with my mum. And uh, they said that they would give me two weeks to stay at their house because yeah. I was homeless at that point. Yeah. And they said, but if you use and you drink, you're out. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, Is that a little bit of the tough love? A little bit of the tough love, but they yeah. still gave me, they could see that I was, I was on death's door and I was desperate. Mm. And, you know... I 
in that moment that that happened, everything started to come together for me because I, in that moment, became willing for the first time in my life mm. to go to any lengths, any lengths, to get clean and sober. Mm. Whether I was the most miserable person on the planet, I didn't care. Mm. Whether, you know, no matter what I had to do, mm. I was willing to do it. Mm. I couldn't have put that into words at the time, but that's what came to me. And, and then I started to do certain things. I went and sought out 12-step groups um, to give me some help. I went into a support of the accommodation um, facility. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and my journey began from there and, and to the point now where, you know, I'm just about to click over 16 years clean and sober. It's an amazing journey. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what Mick won't tell you, but I will tell you, is that he's built an amazing organisation um, with a great bunch of people who are helping in a real practical sense at the coalface of, of this, you know, this challenge of addiction and alcoholism and, you know, great kids, great family, um, genuinely reinvented himself. Even, even on a physical level, we trained together at the gym and, you know, like, I mean, this is not... Disneyland and it's not a it's not a Hollywood movie like there are still things including me that you you have challenges we all have challenges but yeah. but like to where you are now you know socially emotionally practically financially where you came from that place at that bloke who was essentially dead looking in a broken mirror in a dirty warehouse at his blue lips mm. going right this is me or the bloke coming out of prison after a year plus or whatever straight to the pub and and now sitting here doing an interview, uh, working in radio, you've got a book deal with a publisher, you know, you, you're creating all these great things and, and you're doing great work. So, mate, it's a credit to you. Thank you, Craig. Thanks for chatting with us. Cheers. Addiction destroys lives and shatters families. Hi, I'm Mick Hall, founder of Dayhab Residential Rehab Centre. I'm an ex-addict and I made it out the other side. I want you to know that there is a solution. There is expert help and there is hope. Dayhab can show you how. Jump onto our website at dayhab.com.au or call the number on your screen. Dayhab Residential Rehab Program. Recovery, help and hope every step of the way.